This is Rush Down here with another video. And in this video, I want to discuss wind conditions. So let's talk about what a wind condition is. And let's talk about how to figure out exactly how to discover real ways to actually land and get in a situation where you can obtain your wind condition. So let's first cover what a wind condition is. A wind condition is the situation in which your character is at their strongest. And a lot, and in some games, it can guarantee a win, depending on the strength of the character, or it can put you in the best, put you on the best path to victory. So for Leo, let's talk about his win condition. He wants to be in this stance right here, about this distance from you, because he can hit you low, he can hit you high, he can cross to the other side, he can also go for a command throw. It's a little bit weaker in the corner because you only have to deal with the, the high low mix up along with the command throw. But in all honesty, him being a back turn is him at his strongest and he can definitely steal a match off you. Other characters win conditions come from getting a hard knockdown. Some come from just getting you to the corner so that they can deal, deal their, their game plan of uh, dash throw uh, and pressure. So it really depends on your character. But let's talk about actually landing your win condition in the match and figuring out what's real and what's not real. Let's start off and do something that's not real. See that? Leo gets thrown every time if you hit them with the slash DP. So what I'm gonna do now is a heavy slash DP and a run through and you'll see what happens. If the opponent tries to grab when you do it that time, it's easier for you to get a counter hit or you can dash or you can forward dash technically since you're your back turn. And you can actually bait the grab. So in order to set this up and see what's actually real, you can you can go easily into the setting. You can go to the training settings, you can set the counter attack settings. And you can either set your dummy after a block, after a hit, after recovery, which is when they're getting up off the ground. You can actually set the action that they will do. And there's three different actions you can set, and you can set it to cycle through them randomly, right? But for this one, I just wanted to show you an example of like learning your character, their strengths, and what's real. Now, the first option wasn't bad wasn't bad it's just it won't work if your opponent is ready for it and if you try too many times after a simple knockdown if your opponent likes to back dash instead uh, you can do something like this you can set the the recovery option to back dash and let's see what happens when you get a simple hit on the dummy See, you chase the, the back dash. Let's, let's actually start from the corner and let's see what happens. See that? You got back turn stance again. So this isn't solely a video on Leo. This is just understanding wind conditions. And if you understand anything about your, your character's wind conditions, Leo's is getting back turn stance while mid screen. Sometimes he's also really strong in the corner but he's definitely stronger mid-screen if his back is turned towards you. I want to use Leo as an example of how to discover what is real and what is not real. Like, so we both know, as I explained previously, that his win condition is getting back turn mid-screen or back turn period, but it's obviously stronger mid-screen against most characters in most situations. So, how do you discover what is real and what's not real? Uh, so, how can we do that in the training room? So, let's talk about using the training settings. One thing we can do is go to counterattack settings. And the reason why I have Soul now is, with, is because Soul has one of the quickest recovery buttons in the game. And let's talk about it. We call it standing K. So let's see what happens in a lot of situations 
were we not sold down? So, all right, let's knock down Soul real quick. Let's do it. Ah, so that loses to it. So if a heavy DP is real, like if it's not real, let's see what happens when, when you actually do something like that. You ate a good 5K. So that's what happens when it's not real. So what happens if a player likes to DP? We all know Leo players love to DP on Wake Up. So let's find ways around it. So let's do, let's set the dummy to obviously get up and counter attack with something else, a, a little bit beefier. Let's go to the special attacks, right? Let's do the Volcanic Viper, right? Let's do it, let's see what happens. It's fast, right? So let's get the, Hard knockdown and try the same thing. You ate the DP. Right. So. Ah. So no matter what you do, you're going to have to hold the DP. But what else can you do to bait that? Let's find out. Oh, and just simply dashing for a base set out. So it's good to set the dummy to do both their fastest button to interrupt what you're going to do or a good DP. And this works for every character, not just Leo. Uh, Melia gets her, she gets a strong option from just getting a hard knockdown and she can start her mix up plan from there. So it's, it's good to set the dummy to do an invincible reversal. But if you need to go a little bit more specific, like actually setting up certain situations that are kind of hard to deal with in higher level matches, you can use the recording function. Uh, for instance, right? So we all know that Soul gets his win condition by getting you to the corner and then pressuring you. So, you can use the recording functionality to set up more specific situations for the character and learn how to actually deal with it. Or you can set the dummy to do something a little bit more specific with their invincible reversals. Like, uh, for instance, Soul's uh, option select that if you're jumping over them at the last second, uh, it'll automatically autocorrect into a DP. I personally can't do it, but that's something you can take a look at. And it's always a good idea to just simply use all the functionality of the training room to learn about a character's win conditions and how to deal with those win conditions when you don't have bursts especially. A lot to describe some of the stuff that um, works for every character. And I, I would have to give quick apologies for, you know, not using other characters and showing off their win conditions. But this isn't a video teaching you each individual character's win condition. There's There's been players that have done that consistently. I recommend Lord Knight's video because he covered a video and went through a short explanation of everybody's win condition. But this video is just teaching you how to use the training room to actually learn and deal with getting your win condition. So we've talked about what's real with getting win conditions and what's not real. Let's talk about how to test and learn each like different situations for your character and how they actually can get things done. So we know that even if you set the dummy to do something right, you can go in and say, hey, let's go mess with these counterattacks. What will happen if my opponent decides to mash throw after being hit, right? Right, so that's a full combo. Right, so look at that. Got counter hit because they threw. But what happens if you hit them like that? So there's a chance that it'll miss. But the average person isn't gonna mash throw immediately, right? From that distance, you get thrown. All right, 
So from about right here, you still get thrown. So you have to learn ways to trick your opponent to stop what you can do in various different situations. So it's good to go through each of the options in the training room and just find out what you can do to keep your character from losing. And the best way to learn that is to just look at replays of previous matches and see, oh, I got stopped from doing something that I wanted to do in the match in this situation. And you can just break it down a little bit and say, oh, they, after, after I tried to hit them, something that I wasn't expecting them to do was throw right after being hit. I thought I could get behind them, but it didn't work. So you go and you can set the dummy to test it out in the training room. This is Rush Down, uh, and I'm glad to have been able to cover it just a little bit. I know it's, it's mostly using Leo, but this actually works for every character. You can just go through and look at certain situations of when you were in, the, in a match and you try something, you thought, hey, this will surely work. And your opponent did something that you did not expect them to do and it worked for them. You can say if you just missed time what you were trying to do or if it truly works like that. Uh, so it's been a pleasure. If you like the video, like and subscribe and uh, I'll catch you for the next video. All right.